Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have green hair, yay! So today I will actually be doing a Q&A video because last week we hit a hundred subscribers, which is absolutely insane. I like literally, I know everybody who makes YouTube videos says this, but I literally never thought it would happen. I was sitting at like, 25 subscribers like this is it this is the best it's gonna get i'm vibing i'm loving it i'm just gonna keep making videos but it happened it happened we got it to a hundred subscribers and i am so grateful to all of you for that so thank you so today we're gonna be doing a q a not gonna be the longest q a in the world but we did get a lot of very fun questions today and i'm excited to answer them so let's get into it thank you guys so much what is your favorite video game and why um my favorite video game is little nightmares i have loved that game um for a couple years now but i really got into it when i finally got around to playing it last year in the fall so fall of 2020 i played it um all the way through in one sitting i absolutely love that game i think it's one of the best games ever um, it's such a good horror game because it's so atmospheric. So yes, if you're if you want to get into video games, if you want to get into horror games, play Little Nightmares. Best game ever. Love it. Mwah. Have you ever shoplifted? Unfortunately, no, I haven't shoplifted. I've thought about it a few times because like shit be expensive. The last time I had to buy a brace for my knee because my joints are terrible, I was like, damn, this is thirty five dollars. I don't know if I want to pay that. I could just walk out of the store but uh don't tell the cops i've never shoplifted though never committed any crimes ever i promise tumblr user x filler said do you have a piss kink please respond um no lola on twitter said what if your name was crockett instead well i think it would be very texan of me to be called crockett because we have that whole davy crockett thing at the alamo genuinely i think it's just a worse name i'm sticking with cricket it's nice it's fun if you look it up all you get is sports results it's great on the abo spectrum where do you fall and did you rig your uquiz results so i took a uquiz recently with my friends where we decided to see how we would fall in the abo spectrum you know normal friend group things um and the first time i took it i got true omega but that wasn't good enough for me so i went back and i changed one answer which was a homestuck answer i made my answer not homestuck anymore um and i ended up getting alpha no omega no something like beta presenting alpha like i'm an alpha but i seem like a beta so that's where i think i really do land like i'm an alpha but people think i'm a beta but i totally could fall on the the omega spectrum somewhere who knows if you don't know what i'm talking about don't look into it you will regret it who slash what is your creative inspiration that's hard because i feel like i was inspired by a lot of people obviously Obviously, I like Dan and Phil, um, sue me. I was really creatively inspired by them. I think that they had a big impact on YouTube as a platform, but I might go into that later in a different video. But what really inspired me to end up actually like uploading on my YouTube channel again was, um, I mean, I have this, I have this philosophy that every YouTuber passed like, 2009 to 2010-ish was inspired by another YouTuber. So like, it's totally fine if you stan YouTubers, as long as you're like respectful about it, to start uploading on YouTube and be perfectly candid about the fact that you stan YouTubers. I, like Dan and Phil, I went to both of their tours. Um, they have been a big part of my life growing up. They're my dads. Dan and Phil are a big inspiration for me, but also, um, Mark and Ethan from Unis Honest because Unis Honest is like, oh, you have a limited time in your life to do these things and you should use the opportunities that you have to go ahead and do those things instead of just waiting for it to happen because eventually you're gonna die and you're running out of time. Yay! But that was really inspiring to me. So I'm really glad that they ended up doing that because I started uploading on this channel and it's the most fun I've ever had. So yeah, my creative inspiration, Dan and Phil and Mark and Ethan. 
yes. Also Jenna Marbles, I fucking love her so much. She is a goddess. Please come back, I miss you. If it will make you happier, Jenna, please come back to YouTube. I miss you so much. P.S. When will the great duo Cricket Eris and Lady Misk return? I don't know. I really, this is, this is my friend Lynn's Tumblr account, by the way. You should go follow her, um, and also subscribe to her on Twitch at Lady Misk. Um, but I don't know. I really want to stream again. It's been a hot minute since I've streamed. Um, I got this new job, and content creation kind of went on the back burner for a little bit, but now I'm like super psyched. I'm ready to go. Whole bunch of videos in the works. So I really hope to be able to stream again soon. I just need to be able to f figure out where in my schedule I'm going to fit that. So yeah, like let's chat about it. I would love to stream again. We should stream again soon. I miss it. Opinions on Larry Stylinson. When I read this name, I always, always, always have to remind myself that it's not actually a member of One Direction named Larry Stylinson, that it's the ship name for, um, shit, what's their name? Oh, Harry Styles is the first one, and he's being shipped with Louis Tomlinson? Louis Tomlinson, that's it. Opinions on Larry Stylinson. Well, I've heard that it really, like, fucked up their friendship, so that's bad. Other than that, I haven't ever thought about it in my entire life, so, sorry? Five years ago, where did you envision yourself in 2021? Five years ago, what year was that? 2016? Uh-oh, that's a little weird. Um, so five years ago was 2016. Um, in 2016, I thought I was gonna be an interpreter, like, for languages. I, w I wanted to study a bunch of languages and then interpret them. Um, and like translate documents and stuff because I was lame, but specifically in Mandarin because I was learning Mandarin at the time. I thought that I would be in school to become an interpreter. So yeah, real lame. What is your favorite and least favorite bug? My favorite bug has to be a cricket just because it's my name. I'm fond of it. When I see it, I'm like, ah, oh, that's me. My least favorite bug, gotta be a cockroach. My god, I'm not bothered by many bugs, but oh my goodness, when I see a cockroach, I ascend to another dimension. I am the bitch who kills the cockroaches for people, but they still creep me out. And if one touches me, I will not be able to stop thinking about it for the entire day. So yeah, favorite bug, cricket. Least favorite bug, cockroach. We have Mio saying, are you gay lol and what inspires you creatively so i just asked the i just answered the second one um we got dan and phil we got unis honest um and jenna marbles all of that jazz um but are you gay yes lydia says what tattoos do you have i've been looking forward to this one because i love showing off anything really but especially my tattoos because they were expensive but yes i have two tattoos currently one of them i got about two months ago and one of them i got yesterday as of filming this so the one i got yesterday kind of nasty today i'm gonna show it anyway i'll decide <laughs> later whether or not to actually keep it in the video my first tattoo is this one anyone who watched unis Honus will recognize that it is the zero 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 from the end of the countdown when the channel died and was deleted forever and um i wanted to get this tattooed because it impacted my life so much and like literally you can go back and check the first time i uploaded like a real youtube video other than that hannibal edit i did on youtube was like a few days before unis honest ended because i was like damn this is something I really want to do, and I'm gonna start putting the effort towards it, and it completely changed my life, and I think a reminder that you can always do what you want to do, you just have to, like, make the time to do it, and make yourself do it, and get started, because getting started is the hardest part, um, like, that sort of a reminder on my arm forever is really nice, and I appreciate them forever for it. Um, my other tattoo is very nasty, so content warning, I guess, <laughs> for 
tattoos the day after they were given. I have KT tape under it right now, but I'll show one of the prettier pictures of it. It's really oozy right now. Anyone who's gotten a tattoo will know that um, the week after you get a tattoo is just nasty because you have to keep the like saran wrap on it and keep it from actually leaking and stuff. I've been cleaning up a lot of trails of ink and plasma going down my leg. It's very sexy, I promise. But yeah, I got the Keith Haring guys on my leg. I've been wanting to do that for like three years um, because I love Keith Haring. I love his art. I think that he is, he was a fantastic artist. Um, and his little, his funky little dude just make me so happy inside that I wanted to have him on my leg forever. What do you use to edit your videos and how long does it usually take you? So I use Adobe Premiere for most of my editing, but if I want to do a particularly um, intensive effect, I switch over to After Effects. I really like that the Adobe Suite lets you do a lot of like integration between the apps. I record my audio on Adobe Audition. I edit most of the video on Premiere and then I do more intensive effects on After Effects um, and I make my thumbnails on Photoshop. So I am an Adobe slut. I'm sorry. Despite the fact that it's a terrible company and you should not support Adobe, um, their products are actually very, very good. But yeah, so I use Adobe products to edit my videos. Hi, editing cricket here. Um, I just realized I completely forgot to answer the second half of that question and it was asking how long it takes me to edit videos. So it takes me about a day and it's because I, if I start editing, I just don't stop until I'm done. So I have to set aside like a day or um, I'll just stay up all night if I try to spread it out across several evenings. The one video that I know exactly how long it took me is my Hannibal edit. Um, and that one took me exactly 13 hours without me standing up or doing anything else. My longer videos you'd think would take much longer, but that's just not the case because um, instead of taking other footage and putting it together to the beat of a song, um, I'm taking footage that the point is me talking and me playing a game or the gameplay or whatever, so there's a lot less intensive editing in that. Um, and in a, the general gaming videos that I film or other types of videos, it takes me about a day. Honestly, probably about the same amount of time as that edit. But yeah, good question. Thank you, Linz. So that is the end of our Q&A today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was a shorter video, I know. Um, but I had an absolute blast with it. Honestly, I didn't expect anyone to ask questions. So having as many to answer today as I did was a huge surprise and so fun. I loved it so much. So thank you guys so much for watching. It genuinely means the absolute world to me. If you made it this far, oh my God, I love you so much. <laughs> um, and I hope to see you again in the next video. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you think I'm funny or quirky or whatever. And if you don't, then no biggie, just click on a different video. I really am excited to keep making content for y'all. I have so many videos that I'm working on right now, writing, filming, editing, already filmed, waiting to get edited, and I'm saying this in a video so that I might actually edit them. So hold me to that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.